Uh, yeah, cooking next is another of Britain's very best chefs. How would you describe him, Michelle? Remember, we're live. Well, yes. <laughs> well, he's not tall, yeah. but yet he's a grand chef. There you he's grand by the way he act. He's an example for the trade. There you go. There you go. I'm in tears. Indeed. Very high praise in tears. Uh, welcome to the show, Andrew Fairley. Good to have you on the show, Andrew. First time on much. the show. Um, and straight into it, two dishes. Yes. Yes. Uh, With a homage for two people, Michelle and Michelle and uh, Michelle. Michelle Guerra, where yeah. I did my uh, scholarship. Yeah. And Michelle Rue, who sent me there. Right. So we're going to do lobster. Running through this sauce for this, we've got some cream, butter, herbs, yeah, tarragon. We, we get some uh, lime juice, some cream. Yeah. And if you can, Jane, just crack on with a basic lime and butter sauce. I'll explain how we're doing that while I'm doing it. But this is for the the smoked lobster. This dish. is for the smoked lobster. Yeah. But your other one, which is, we've got is a mango sauce, so that's just, we've got some uh, Alfonso mangoes there, which we're going to blitz in here. Again, we're going to add some lime juice to that with some sherry vinegar. We're going to add a little bit of hot water just to get the mangoes going. And yeah. then we're going to pour in some light olive oil, a little bit of seasoning, and that's what we're going to season the salad with. And that's that one. Okay, so, so this, this is the smoke in the lobster business. Yeah. Right. So first thing I'm going to do is to get these shells into smoke. Yeah. So it's just actually the shell we smoke for this. We don't actually smoke the meat. And this comes from the restaurant. Did he actually smoke it in? I mean, you're doing it in, in shavings and whiskey barrels, but yeah, no. Well, Michel Guerra used to do it, and um, he had a, a chimney where he used to burn old vines and fruit wood and things like that. Yeah. And then he used to grill meat and grill fish over that, um, and it gave it this kind of really beautiful smoky flavour. Um, so at the restaurant what we started to do, well we've actually been playing around with it for a while now um, and because we don't have an old fashioned chimney yeah. we just started to cold smoke it in the restaurant so we're going to hot smoke it today but normally in the restaurant we would cold smoke it and it would take about six hours to do. Right, now most people looking at me would look at the green and just, but that's fine. It's, it's the best part of the lobster, yeah. tastes absolutely fantastic. I'm just going to wipe my hands here. There you go. Right. So Smoky. Is. This is the um, the shavings of the whiskey barrels. Yeah. So you okay. can actually smell the kind of sweetness of the of the whiskey. Now, once we're finished with the barrels, uh, we have a deal with one of the distilleries where we get the shavings from it. So this is actually hot smoking the. There's a sink in the, the back of my hands. Yeah. There you go. Right. I've made my sauce, which is basically that's it. You've got the lime, a little bit of cream, and yeah. the butter's been whisked to it. Just literally whisk it off the heat. That's fine, if you just leave that there just now, we'll use that, that's that one. one. And then you want me to prep our salad, I'll do our salad, but yeah. meanwhile you're going to do the rest of it. Yeah, again, I think people are put off by lobster because they think it's fiddly and it's, it's difficult to, to eat. But the, one, the dishes that we're going to do today, it's completely out of the shell. Um, and again, to get the cartilage out of the, the claw meat, basically just pull the smaller claw yeah. and it just takes the cartilage out clean. Now you were 20 when you entered the competition. Yeah. I mean, it, I mean, it's just literally just happened, the 28th year. Uh, we are both sort of judging it. It is actually probably the most nervous competition and the toughest competition for chefs, isn't it? Really? It is, absolutely. I mean, I, well, I mean, I've been judging it for a couple of years now and I really feel for the guys. I mean, you saw it this year. It's a terrifying experience to go through. I mean, they're all I great. think it's the two of these like, looking at you, the, well, the two roos. Yeah, this was the youngest uh, ever to win the competition. I mean, uh, Quite, uh, he was not in his nappy anymore, but uh, <laughs> uh, he wanted my nappy that day. <laughs> <laughs> no, but I'm, I'm, I'm still extremely proud of you for what you, where you come from, what you've learned, and where you are today. Well done. I mean, it's a thing that you talk about quite a lot. I mean, it, cause it is like a who's who, isn't it, really, of, of chefs, this competition. Yeah, I mean, the winners, I mean, there's some great, great cooks out there. Um, and I'd say we spent three days in Germany just a couple of weeks ago. We have a thing, for those that win the scholarship, we have a kind of Rue Scholars Club. Yeah. And every couple of years, Michelle takes us away to exotic locations like Green Eagles and Dubai and Italy. And so we're just back just a few days ago from, from Germany. It's a kind of study trip. So it's great study to Study trip? I've heard it was like a stag do. <laughs> it was. It was. It was like a stag do, yeah. I just... Yeah, we went to Your see. wife told me it was like a stag do. <laughs> okay, well, then... Six o'clock in the, the morning, trip. you were early there. No, no, that was when we were closing the bar. All right. <laughs> then, no, uh, during the day, uh, the farm, I mean, the chicken farm, I mean, a brewery, tasting one, and so on and so forth. Anyway, 
He's cooking, I think, believe uh, Andrew is cooking, yeah, yeah. diverting at the moment. So what we got here with pretzel lobster, now the, the chipping's there, you can buy these sort of chippings from um, garden centres nowadays, can't you? Really? Yeah, you can. Um, look at that smell, they just look fantastic. Yeah, the smell, the smell really is great. So what I'm going to do now is take one of these halves out. So you can see that's quite heavy smoke in that, so what we don't want to do is to, I'll just put that there. Yeah. We really don't want to smoke the meat too much because it's such a delicate meat. I'll probably move that over there. Good. Yeah, great, thanks. <coughs> so we're just going to put a little of the lime sauce in the bottom there. Now I'm just going to slice the lobster meat back into the, into the shell. And while you do that, I'll just explain what a salad is. We've got some avocado here, some mango, which I've just diced. In the blender there, we've got some mango. And you're going to add, what, a little bit of lime to this, I Yeah, some, um, no, we're actually just add to the sauce. Yeah. Yes, okay. a bit of sherry vinegar, a bit of lime, and some light olive oil. Okay. Touch your water or not? Uh, yeah, you will need some water, just to get the mango going. Yeah. Okay. And then we might add a little bit more water at the end. Just to okay, um, just a bit of that, and then you add some olive oil to that. So I'll keep that blended. So there's got back on the shell. It's back in the shell. Yeah. I'm just going to put a little bit of water on the bottom there, just to create a bit of steam. So tell us about the Glen Eagles Hotel, because everybody knows about it for obviously the golf, but the ethos of your restaurant is still very classically French. It is, yeah. I mean, I mean, all my training was done, well, most of it in France. I trained, I did a classical four-year apprenticeship where it was, um, we cooked really from the scoffier in the repertoire, so it was very, very classical. Well, I mean, the food's moved on, it's evolved. Um, yeah. You know, these sauces, you know, Michel did the sauce 30 years ago, it's still very relevant today. Um, you know. I'm not sure how long a dried carrot foam is going to be around for, but you yeah. know, the mango sauce or the smoked <laughs> lobster or the... Well, I'll leave you to finish it off. There you go. Put a basil down in there. Okay, so basil, mango, vinegar, lime juice is in there. Uh, lime juice is in there, you might want a little bit of oil in there. We've got some herbs in there. Uh, don't forget, you've got all today's studio recipes to prove this one from Andrew on our website. Go to bbc.co.uk forward slash Saturday Kitchen. You can find dishes from our previous shows of bbc.co.uk forward slash recipes. There you go. Right. So we're just adding olive oil there just to emulsify the sauce. Yeah. Herbs going in there, last minute. Going in. You want to pass that as well? Yeah, if you can pass it, please. Let me uh, just taste it see. quickly, James, just for... I'll use a sip. So as well as that and everything else, you're doing a book as well? Yeah, we're in the process of, um, it's the 10th anniversary of a restaurant yeah. next year, so we're in the process of putting a book together for that. <laughs> Which as you know is very time consuming. It is a bit. Well, I'll let you put the, put the lobster on the plate. Yeah. I'll just have that one and I'll be ready with this one in a second. So just okay. pass that. Very smooth. Look at the texture. Beautiful texture. It should be, it's your recipe. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> I've adapted it slightly. Yeah, well, that's your line anyway. <laughs> there you go. Okay, so I'm going to take this lobster out of there. So you can smell the smoke has just infused into the meat there. Look at that. Now what I'm going to do is just take some of the smoking liquid that's left in the pan just to thin that sauce down a little bit. Yep. I'm just going to put a little bit over the over the lobster meat. So the meat there is just warm, it's not overcooked. You can't actually smell the smokiness from it as well. So that's that one. I'll leave you to finish that one. And then for the lobster salad, so we've got the avocado, the mango, the mixed salad. Yeah. A little bit of the mango dressing in there. Beautiful summer salad. Just going to take the lobster meat. Is he doing it top. right? Uh, perfectly right. I mean, <laughs> better than I used to show him. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. There you and I'm just going to finish that with the claw on the top. Dressing on it. And then just. It smells from this, it's just. A little dribble. 
of the mango sauce around the outside. There you have it. So imagine what that is to get under it. So here we've got the warm smoked lobster with the warm lime butter and herb sauce. And here we've got the mango salad with the uh, basil dressing. See? Other says the lobster salad with the uh, mango and basil dressing. I told you at the top of the show you were in for a treat. Check that out. <laughs>